Lindor was just scratched from the Mets lineup about 15 minutes ago because of right side soreness imaging tomorrow on the bump Tyler McGill the 28 year old right hander in his third big league year he is six and five with a five point four five ERA 2 2 to Acuna and a check swing grounded down to first and Alonzo will take it himself Acuna never got out of the batter's box and that's the first out of the night. Albies drills one to deep center field. Back goes Nimmo. He'll have room in front of the warning track. And he puts it away, two out. And he lines one into right center for a base hit. McNeil closes ground on it. And Riley will stop it first. And Olsen lines it right to Arauz, who picks it off his shoot tops to end the inning. Perfectly positioned to take a hit away from Olsen. And for the Braves, it is Charlie Morton back on the mound. Jeff, as you talked about, four walks in Chicago, struggled a little bit. Let's see if he can get back to normal. And he walks Nemo to start this game. Here's Francisco Alvarez. And he gets the first pitch in the air to right field. And Acuna eases back. And that's the first down. Chance at a couple one pitch outs here. First to Alvarez and now to McNeil. Well, that's one way to come back after the walk. And a 3 1 curveball misses, so he wanted no part of Pete Alonso. The only problem uh, with this strategy is that Vogelback has good numbers against Sport. And Charlie got him to get out of it. Well, all things considered, only an 18 pitch inning. He works around two walks. There are no giving the regular catcher Sean Murphy a bit of a rest tonight. Hammered down at first. Alonzo with a diving stop and a backhand flip to McGill. Alonzo playing way off the line and had to make the headlong dive to snag that on the webbing and get Darno. Very nice. And McGill picks off the outside corner with a changeup. And that's his first strike out of the night. Two down. And he flies one into shallow center and Nimmo. Plenty of room to get under it. And that retires the side with some help from Alonzo. McGill has a 1 2 3 inning. No score at City Field. Vientos drills it into left field for the Mets' first hit of the ball game. And they have the leadoff man on. And he lines one the other way for a base hit. Vientos to second. And Ortega gives the Mets back to back hits to start the second. Ground ball to Arcia. See if they can get two out of it. Yes, 6 4 3 double play just with the doctor order. Left field, Eddie Rosario toward the line, and he's got it. So the Mets strand two in the first, and they strand two more in the second. So the Mets have now taken advantage of five walks. They have first and second with one out, and here's Vogelback. And he gets Vogelback again. Got the changeup outside, and that's a big second out. 62nd pitch of the night for Charlie. Shallow pop. Arcia out, he wants it. And he's got it. And the Mets have stranded two more here in the third, and we are still scoreless. So one out here is Austin Riley. Riley at a base hit to right center on the first pitch he saw from McGill on the first inning. Riley shoots this out. Nimmo back, still going off the wall. Riley hustling into second. Stand up double. First extra base hit for Atlanta here tonight. Matt to left center. And it falls, it bounces. Riley, though, stays at second. Chops that one up the line. It might stay fair. And it'll roll to a dead stop in fair territory. It's an infield hit for Marcelo Zuna to load the bases. What a big chance here for Eddie Rosario. And he swings, hits it to right center, and it falls. Oh, and it gets around past Nimmo. And then the error on Nimmo allowing the second, the third run to score. And Nimmo is on seven walks for Charlie Morton tonight, a new career high. Certainly not walking out of here with a medal tonight, but he's doing what he can. It's going to be the third flyout tonight. Off the bat of Alvarez as Acuna squeezes it, and once again, Charlie Morton gets out of a jam. The Mets have left two on base in every inning. And the Braves have the leadoff man on via their sixth hit of the game. So McGill loses Acuna to a walk, and the Braves have the first two men out of the fifth. And uh, Ozzie Albies will be the batter. And this is a liner. Fair. Just inside the chalk. Ronald's going to score. Ozzie. 
at second base. And the base hit by Ozzie makes it 4 nothing Atlanta. 4 nothing Braves. Here comes Austin Riley, who's had a big night already. Austin high in the air, left center. It'll definitely do the job. Ronald can cruise home. RBI Austin Riley, 5 to nothing Atlanta in the fifth. So Travis Darno gives the Braves their eighth hit of the game, a leadoff single here in the sixth inning. Darno at second one out. Here's Rosario. Eddie hits it out that way again. Hemo back. He doesn't have it. It's off his glove. Eddie drives in another run. Six to nothing in the sixth for Atlanta. Riley's had a big night tonight. Single, double sacrifice fly. So he's two for two. Yeah, he's hit the ball hard all three times. Riley sends this deep to left. Ortega is back, and it's gone. A single, a double, and now a homer tonight for Austin Riley, the king of Queens. And Atlanta pours it on. It's seven to nothing. Seven to nothing, Braves. AJ Minter coming on here to try to preserve the shutout. His 50th appearance of the season. Mitchell's first pitch is driven to right center field back toward the gap and that's going to short hop the wall. Alvarez on his way to second and he's in standing with a leadoff double. So Francisco Alvarez wasting no time after an 0 for 4 night makes it a 1 for 5 with a first pitch double. Here it is from AJ and that's hit in the air towards center field. Michael Harris over to his left hits the brakes makes the catch. 1 2 strike 3 swung on a miss at a changeup. Braves win. A shutout to start the series in Queens. Seven to nothing. Even though Charlie Morton walked seven, he did not give up a single run. He battled, and the bullpen keeps the zero on the board for the New York Mets.